Alright lads, so the 7th anniversary carb event is finally here and it's actually really, really good. So this event has been out for around 12 or so hours as me making this video and personally I've done over like 500 plus tickets and the results have been somewhat decent. Now what you need to understand when it comes to this 7th anniversary carb event, just like last year, it's all RNG dependent. You can spend upwards to a thousand tickets and basically get nothing, but you could spend 10 tickets and get a massive amount of rewards. Rewards. And the rewards this time around are actually significantly better when compared to last year. Last year, for the most part, only really gave you normal Link Swap potions and the occasional large EXP crystals. This time around, you can get Link Swap potions, you can get Super Link Swap potions, and of course, you can get Hokus, Hoku Wills, and also a lot of EXP crystals. So, at the very least, the minimum rewards you can expect when farming this quite a bit is just to stack up on a lot of EXP crystals. So, if you are someone new to the game and you know you're going to be maxing out all these characters and working on them, Farming this for like the next two or so weeks isn't really going to be a bad idea just for the sole purpose of getting a lot of EXP crystals and at the same time also getting lucky. Because what you will notice is that this quest does have four different types of extra stages. Now we don't know what each individual one drops, again it's completely random, but if you get super super lucky and you get the best possible extra stage, you can get something upwards to 15,000 Link Swap, super Link Swap potions. On the screen right now is a bunch of examples of what people have been getting, again keep in mind it can be super low you might not even get this in two weeks of farming you just have to hope you get lucky but the amount of rewards you can get from this is quite crazy in my opinion personally again for me as someone that's been around 500 or so so tickets on this current event I got some decent rewards, but nothing too crazy. I think the best thing I've gotten thus far was 7,777 uh, large EXP crystal, which is nice and all, but it's not what I need. I want to get the super links or potions. I want to get the links or potions, and that's why I'm personally farming this event. And I must say, the great thing about this event right now is the fact that the timing is absolutely perfect. Other than this particular event, which again is a once in a lifetime thing, it's not going to return until next year, and even then, the rewards are going to be different. There's nothing going on in the game right now that you must farm over this particular event. Yes, it's true, you might spend a lot of soul tickets for nothing until you get super lucky, but still, you might take that chance. You know, IZ is still here, it's going to be here for the rest of the year. IT is still here, it's not going anywhere. Epic Raids isn't going anywhere, it's here for the entire month. Point events, there's no boosted one right now, so realistically, the thing that you should be spending your soul tickets on is this current carb event. And in case you are wondering if it wasn't already clear, you want to use Thousand Year Blood War characters. On your screen are the bonus characters. It essentially includes every single Thousand Year Blood War character, and if you use them, they're getting more damage, and they're also increasing the rate to get an extra stage. That's what's also really good about this particular one, as last year when we did have this type of, you know, lucky RNG extra stage quest for the 6th anniversary, we didn't have characters that would increase the drop rate to get those extra stages. So this time around, you do want to make sure you are using these flowers and your other characters as they are giving you extra damage and increasing the rate for you to get extra stages, which is the most important part about this particular quest. You want to get the extra stages. Now, the main five you want to use are these five characters, as these five flowers and your other characters offer a 50% extra chance to get an extra stage. So with a full team, you have like an, a three times better chance to get those extra stages and potentially get the Jumbo Hall, the 15, 7, 000, and super link stop potions if you're actually really really lucky and in addition to that if you are someone that doesn't really want to farm this at least more so than the 100 tickets that you're required to use here because keep in mind there are event order to this and they also do give you a decent amount of rewards for essentially spending 100 soul tickets on this particular event you are going to be getting a free five star power con which you can also get dropped in the particular quest and since he is a new character giving everyone 125 additional orbs you also get a five star summon ticket and if you're new that's an additional 125 orbs if you do a new character and within those 100 quests that you do complete on this particular quest you're also getting 90 small transcendent scrolls of every single attribute remember the boss rush that we had a couple days ago that is still out right now is giving you 50 of every large attribute scroll so you're almost there to get a very easily max transcendent character assuming you have someone to work on so this event as a whole is actually really really good again you definitely want to make sure you do the 100 runs to get the con to get the five star summon ticket and also to get all the extra rewards like the transcendent scrolls and if you want to go deeper on this particular particular event and spend all your soul tickets for basically the next two weeks, you can definitely do that. And personally, I do recommend it. Yes, you could make the argument that, you know what, it's better just to farm IT since you're guaranteed pots, but you know what, IT isn't really going anywhere. I'm going to take the chance, right? This is a super easy quest. Personally, I'm using Flowers in the Above Eisen, and we're just running for it casually. I'm using all my tickets here. If I get something, great. If I don't, I'm perfectly fine. I already have gotten a decent amount of rewards from this particular quest, so I'm not really going to fully complain about it. But with that said, lads, that was the video for today you know just this this really good event you need to make 
sure you are playing it again at the very least make sure you do the 100 runs just to get those extra guaranteed rewards from the event orders in the comments below let me know what your best reward is again for me i got 7777 large exp crystals which sure is nice, but again, I'd rather get Super Link Star Potions. Personally for me, I'm hunting for that 15,000 Super Link Star Potions. And you know what? I might actually stream in a couple of days' time because it does seem quite fun to play with you lads and just see if we can get some good rewards. It'd be fun to get something good on stream. So in a couple of days' time, definitely do expect a live stream where we can just play together and see if we all get lucky. At the same time, in case you are wondering because a lot of people have been having this problem, if you are struggling to get people to join your room, make sure you add the level cap. Make sure you add rules to the quest. If you open up a room with no rules, no one's going to join you. Not sure why it's like that, but that's how it is. So if you want people to join you, make sure you add some rules. You don't have to add some strict rules, just add some simple ones, and that will get people joining. I've been hosting rooms all day, opening up to the public, and people are joining instantly. In fact, I'm even getting errors now that too many people are playing this particular quest. I've never seen that before. It's crazy. People are hopping in. I'm sure you already played it, so again, in the comments below, let me know what you lads have gotten from this particular quest thus far. And with that said, hope you lads enjoyed the video, and I'll see you lads next time. Peace.